Hi, in this tutorial we will be going to talk about a packaging tool called as APT which comes by default in all Linux machines. Therefore APT stands for Advanced Packaging Tool which is basically used for installing and removing or upgrading or updating applications on your system. Therefore let's see some of the commands and the working with APT. Therefore to install any application we have to apt we have to type in apt get install and the package name like you can install skype as you can see it doesn't allow the permission to install therefore you have to be in the super user mode therefore type in sudo and press enter then type in the password and that's all as you can see I already installed the application therefore it is not suggesting for installing for installing you have to use apt-get install to remove that application just replace install with remove command and that's all that removes Skype from your system and this also has to be done in the super user mode using sudo and the other commands include uh, apt-get build dependencies that is represented by build DEP which basically installs all other applications which are required for building the application for some application like you want to uh, install all other applications which are used to build Emacs application then you have to use this command that is apt get build de dependencies Emacs this has also be done using sudo command and just press enter based on that as I already installed all the dependencies for Emacs it is not showing for me as of now and if you want to get the packages which are in the cache like which are available in the cache then you have to do the app cache command and emacs app cache okay you have to actually type in search emacs and this searches all the up applications which are there in your in which are there for installation and the packages name for Emacs like it basically provides the packages name to install and then there is apt get update command which is also to be run using sudo command and uh, this basically updates all the packages all the PPAs you have done in this slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list in this file you will be basically having all the uh, Debian packages PPA links this updates all those things from the PPA and then after updating you have to just upgrade the system using apt get upgrade command this also has to be done in sudo super user mode and that's all thanks for watching